Hello, Dave here again, Creative Guitar Lounge. Today I wanted to have a look at one of my kind of favourite guitar toys, which is a thing called the Ebo. Not sure if you've ever come across this. You will have heard it, I'm sure, if you're a fan of, I guess, um, well, all sorts of music. I mean, David Bowie famously used this in Heroes, or the guitarist in, in the band at the time, who I think was Carlos Alomar. Doesn't matter. Um, so that's a, a very distinctive part in Heroes. Um, James, the British band James, use it quite a lot in songs like um, She's a Star. Uh, who else? R.E.M. It's actually, it's the thing that got me finally into R.E.M. from their New Adventures in Hi-Fi album. They've actually got a song called Ebo the Letter. But Peter Buck in R.E.M. uses the Ebo quite a lot. So it's pretty widely used. Um, you may not have, have, have actually tried one yourself, so I just wanted to give you a little kind of um, idea of what you can do with one of these. Um, this is my second one. The first one, to, to give you an idea of how um, impressive they can sound, was stolen um, by a sound guy at a venue where we played a gig. I happened to just leave it when we were um, loading out after the gig, and it disappeared. So this is a second one my partner bought me for my birthday, and it's actually got two settings. Um, but basically, I'll, I'll go through that in a second, but basically this is a magnet, it's a little handle and it has a 9 volt battery in it and it's an electromagnet which you can switch on and off with this little switch on the back. Um, now it's kind of contoured to fit over guitar strings, so you kind of sit it quite easily, it sits across two strings and operates really the one in the middle of the two. And what it does is when it's switched on, the magnet just causes the string to vibrate in rather a nice sort of way and give you this long sustaining kind of sound. Which I think you probably agree is quite a nice kind of sound. Um, uh, you can also do, you could arpeggiate chords when you get it just in the right place. Kind of maybe need a more overdriven sound to get that to work quickly because it takes a second or two, as you can hear, for it to actually operate on the string. But once those guys are moving, you can just kind of keep it going and you can add obviously effects and so on to that as well to even further emphasize it. I've done it um, with a, using a wah wah pedal and a a big delay for example beautiful and you can just use all sorts of different um, amp sounds and distortions and clean sounds to get a, a really different so you can get a kind of if you use vibrato you, know, you can get a very violin -y kind of feel to what you're doing So there you go, this one, as I say, has got two settings. That's the kind of basic setting. And it's got a kind of higher, I think it's some kind of a higher frequency. It brings out harmonics and it gives you almost a feedback effect. Just hear that? Sounds like it's just, um, like a, going into feedback. I love that. Beautiful thing. So um, that's an Ebo. Um, if you haven't tried that, it's a really good thing just to, this this site as you know is all about creative guitar playing and finding different ways to make the guitar, I guess really support a song or, or just to be part of the gang rather than and just always being a kind of really flashy thing. Just using different textures and different ways to pull amazing sounds out of these brilliant instruments. And that's what I think this is good for. Um, I always think if you're if you want to improve your guitar skills, you can kind of go uh, in two different ways. You can go up, which I define as as learning things like theory and technique and speed and getting faster and and all the different techniques you can use on the strings with your hands. And you can go sideways, and I think of that as using things like these, um, just a completely different thing, alternative tunings, just to kind of totally change the landscape, if you like, and add 
something else to the, the kind of vocabulary you've got with the guitar. Hope that doesn't sound pretentious, by the way. Um, but that's kind of how I think of these things. I've also, you'll see in some of my other videos, I've talked about things like the half or partial capo, you know, things like that, which again, instantly changes the way the guitar sounds. And so you don't have to have this incredible flashy technique. You can um, do like some of these guys I mentioned earlier, like Peter Buck, who, um, brilliant though he is, I don't think would can describe himself as a, a really flashy technical player, but he comes up with some brilliant ideas and brilliant sounds. And um, this is one of the things that he and uh, myself used to do that. So I'll, I'll put a link in. You can buy these, um, I think, pretty much anywhere. If I find them on Amazon, I'll put an, a link underneath here. Um, but um, yeah, it's worth uh, just worth a try, um, the Ebo. So I um, hope you find that useful. If you've enjoyed the, the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and please leave me comments. I always reply to them. And um, I hope I'll see you in another video. Cheers for now.